Hey everyone, Irit here with a new video. In this video, I'll be showing you a quick sketch in my sketchbook using some brush pens because it is Inktober and that's pretty much as close as I got to participating in it. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Irit and I do weekly videos about watercolors and everything connected to them. If you enjoy this video, please leave a comment, like, subscribe, all those things. I would love to have you here. So I am of course using my Fabriano Vergatone. That's how I decided Italians would pronounce the name. <laughs> A sketchbook which I have talked about in a recent video that I'm assuming you saw because that video did very very well so I'm grateful to everyone that watched and commented and uh, helped it be successful it was a video about underrated art supplies that deserve more love and I loved reading your comments a few of you a few of you a few of you and <laughs> also some great uh, additions to my list of things that you love and you don't hear uh, enough people talk about so yeah check out that video if you haven't already um, and let's move on to today's video this sketchbook I started I started the sketchbook uh, before I left to Italy and so Tuscany was kind of um, the theme of it although I don't know where I'll keep going from here I don't know if I'll continue to explore it I admit I've been painting a little bit more or almost entirely <laughs> Um, like single sheets of papers and uh, paper blocks because I'm working on all kinds of things all will be revealed in good time so I haven't done uh, a ton of sketching in my sketchbooks I mostly sketch when I'm painting with my kids which you know gladly happens <laughs> quite often <laughs> but yeah I've been uh, painting outside of the sketchbook. Okay, I think we made that point clear. So I'm using, I think all of these are from my Jane Davenport collection of brush pens. She has a lovely range of colors. The um, uh, quality of the brush pen is pretty good. I think I have a couple that leak occasionally, but I just think it's, you know, it's one of those things you really can't avoid with um, these because it's just the way that they are uh, engineered. You know, you squeeze them a bit and the ink comes out. So it's kind of guaranteed to get messy. Anyway, I think these are a lot of fun. They do have some disadvantages, especially if you're used to painting with traditional colors. These are dye-based. They are extremely staining and unforgiving, even more than watercolors. <laughs> so kind of once you put down the color, if you're not really fast or if your surface is not already wet, Mm, you know, you can move it around, but you'll also get a stain of where you initially put down your color. So take that under consideration. The uh, lighter colors are a little bit easier to work with. And then the super intense, you know, fluorescent colors, they are really um, harder to move around. I'm working from, I think, a mental image of a photo I printed that I already sketched in a previous video of some beautiful village in Tuscany. And I just wanted to have fun and play around with the brush pens. So the nice thing about them, uh, I think I've mentioned it a gazillion times. The nice thing about brush pens is that you have that versatility of the brush stroke. You can get uh, a thick brush stroke and really cover a lot of area quick. And then you can also get a very thin, delicate line. I really like that. And I think it makes these, you know, really great for sketching even on the go but then you always run the risk of having one of them you know leak in your bag so that's kind of my issue with these I usually go out with my kids so I can't say this is 
a go-to product for me for uh, painting outside. But if you're a risk taker, if you like living on the edge, then by all means, grab a pencil case and fill it with <laughs> potentially leaky brush pens and, you know, enjoy your life. But um, yeah. I really like the Jane Davenport. She has several sets and actually the one that I am really enjoying these days is the set that has very pale colors. I think there are like five or six um, brush pens in those in that set and I really like that. I, I find the super intense ones are kind of hard to work with unless you're using them really as you know, putting down uh, kind of a sketch and just sketching some lines with them as opposed to really painting, you know, like more drawing, sketching, less painting. So for that, maybe the dark colors are um, easier to use, but for, you know, filling in areas and using kind of color, uh, I really prefer the light, the lighter shades. They're really lovely. So, yeah. What is nice about these, I think, especially if, I don't know, maybe you're not so comfortable with your brushwork, with your brush strokes, you kind of don't really have to fuss with these. You can just grab a pen and really just sketch around. It feels less precious than, you know, grabbing like a, a dagger brush with your artist grade watercolors. Instead, you can just uh, grab one of these brush pens and play around and, you know, combine different colors very quickly, very easily. So for that kind of playful um, side of you know, this kind of sketching, uh, I do think they are fun. But yeah, I kind of, I, I guess for me, I mostly enjoy using these with my watercolors as opposed to a standalone uh, product. That's what I wanted to say. Although in this particular video, you can see that my watercolors are very neglected. Uh, this is also a great uh, opportunity to tell you that in November I'll be doing a gift guide and also a wish list video. I'm pretty excited about that one, even though, I mean, my birthday is at the beginning of November and nobody <laughs> that buys me present watches my videos. <laughs> Maybe my parents sometime, <laughs> but... Um, yeah, so I don't think it'll actually be helpful, but I thought it would just be fun to, you know, share with you uh, what I would like to get as a gift. Uh, these will be, of course, products that I don't really know and I haven't tried, so I can't tell you if they're good or not. I can only tell you that they seem uh, very, you know, they have that tempting um, gift value. That's something that makes them uh, a little bit more special. I feel. So I'm already working on that. And then come December, we'll have to talk about all the favorite supplies from 2020. I mean, I don't think anyone wants to remember this year, but we can, you know, focus on the positive. And uh, many of us did spend a lot of time at home with our art supplies. So uh, we can talk about all the things that we loved using. And why not paint the sky with mint and pink? I think that's really pretty. So, um, yeah, that, that was really fun using these brush markers. And again, I think now for the sky, I'm mostly using the lighter ones, which really have beautiful colors. All in all, I enjoyed making this page. It was a lot of fun. I'm kind of moving away from these, you know, super saturated colors um, bright, vibrant colors. So the color palette here is just a little bit too intense for me, but, uh, yeah, it was fun. I think it's just a fun, you know, brush pens in general. I think they're just really fun to play around with. And actually probably the more minimalistic your illustration is, the better it is because you can really get those, uh, expressive, strokes and it's very um, impactful 
when you use, you know, one or two colors. So, for example, I really enjoyed using them for fashion illustrations inspired by James Burke. I took his illustration course and there was one lesson that was just super fun, just making these, you know, stick figures with brush pens, but it just worked so well. So for those purposes, I think these are fantastic. If you do any kind of more uh, minimalistic illustrations, then they are a lot of fun. I mean, you know, this was also fun, but it's just a bit, a bit burning my retina. So um, bye bye. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm not going, <laughs> probably I won't be uh, doing this again, but for Inktober, I sacrificed myself and this spread uh, in my sketchbook. And that's what we have. So I am grabbing a little bit of water to just activate a little bit of that crazy intense fuchsia color that I added. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon in another one. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.